From hours to minutes, witness the grandeur of Turkey's largest suspension bridge. In the world of architectural marvels, the 1915 Çanakkale Bridge stands tall, both literally and metaphorically, as a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. The bridge, crowned as the world's longest road suspension bridge, entered a new era with a grand inauguration by Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan on Friday, March 18, 2022. This monumental structure gracefully spans the Dardanelles Strait in northwestern Turkey, marking a significant milestone in the country's infrastructure evolution. This awe-inspiring bridge represents the latest triumph in a series of major infrastructure projects that President Erdogan has championed over his two decades in power. Designed to connect Asia and Europe seamlessly, the 1915 Çanakkale Bridge is poised to revolutionize travel, condensing the journey time between the two continents to a few minutes. Join us on a journey as we unravel the world's longest suspension bridge. From its symbolic name rooted in Ottoman history to the intricacies of its construction, we will explore every riveting detail of this architectural marvel. And for more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to Ultimate Mega Builds. Let's delve into the details. The 1915 Çanakkale Bridge stands as an impressive engineering marvel, stretching across a vast 4.5 kilometers with its two towering pillars. What sets it apart is the extraordinary 2,023 meters span between these pillars, securing its position as the world's longest suspension bridge. The pillars reach an astounding height of 334 meters, a height comparable to Europe's top 10 skyscrapers. This monumental six-lane bridge is an integral part of the new Kinali Balakesir motorway, a sprawling 320 kilometers in length. Projections suggest that the bridge will facilitate the daily passage of up to 45,000 vehicles, providing a crucial solution to the congestion issues faced by the three existing bridges, plus a tunnel, in the bustling Istanbul region. As the fourth bridge connecting Europe and Asia, this new architectural wonder showcases Turkey's engineering prowess and promises substantial relief for commuters navigating the often congested routes of Istanbul. The 1915 Çanakkale Bridge is more than just a link between continents. It's a symbol of progress and a much-needed answer to the challenges of urban traffic. Why is it called the 1915 Çanakkale Bridge? The name 1915 Çanakkale Bridge carries a profound historical significance, paying homage to a pivotal Ottoman triumph in 1915 during World War I. This victory saw the Ottoman Empire overcoming the naval forces of the United Kingdom and France. The inclusion of 1915 in the bridge's name serves as a symbolic nod to this momentous event, marking it as a lasting tribute. Various aspects of the bridge's design also connect to the historical narrative. Standing tall at 318 metres, the intersection point of the main cable, along with the bridge's inauguration on March 18, resonates with the significant date of the Ottoman naval victory, enriching the bridge's identity with historical layers of meaning. Moreover, the bridge's main span, stretching an impressive 2,023 metres, holds a special significance. It serves as a commemoration of the year 2023, marking the 100th anniversary of the establishment of the Republic. Thus, the 1915 Çanakkale Bridge not only stands as a marvel of modern engineering, but also weaves a rich tapestry of history into its very essence. How was the bridge built? To accommodate the substantial ships navigating the area, engineers settled on a suspension bridge design for the monumental task of constructing the 1915 Çanakkale Bridge. The blueprint called for two towering pillars, each reaching an awe-inspiring height of 318 meters. These giants were strategically positioned on either end of the strait, forming the backbone for the world's longest main span of two kilometers. Executing this ambitious plan involved a submersion of two colossal caissons, each weighing a staggering 59,000 tons, approximately 40 meters below the water's surface. Placed strategically on the European and Asian sides, these underwater structures served as the waterproof foundations for the towering pillars. To fortify these caissons against seismic forces, steel piles were integrated, enhancing their resilience to earthquakes. Further reinforcing the infrastructure, additional steel platforms were fixed, elevating the towers above sea level. 
The Turkish government, aiming for the bridge's completion by the country's 100-year anniversary in 2023, imposed a stringent deadline on the entire construction process, demanding efficiency at every stage. In response to the urgency, a modular approach was adopted for constructing the towers. Prefabrication took place off-site, and then the tower components were transported to the strait for on-site assembly. This innovative strategy not only ensured speed in construction, but also demonstrated the adaptability and ingenuity of the engineering team behind this colossal project. The 1915 Chinakale Bridge, with its unique design and efficient construction, stands as a testament to human achievement and determination. After the towers reach their towering heights, the intricate process of stringing cables between them unfolded, involving the meticulous placement of strands. This endeavor consumed an astounding 161,900 kilometers of wire, enough to encircle the globe four times over. Given the notorious reputation of the strait for robust winds and annual storms, the bridge's main deck was designed with a twin box girder structure featuring a 9-metre gap in between. This ingenious design not only allows wind to pass through more effortlessly, but also enhances the structure's overall stability. With these elements seamlessly coming together, the bridge now stands as a testament to modern engineering. How long does it take to cross the 1915 Chinakale Bridge? Before the advent of the 1915 Chinakale Bridge, the journey between Anatolia and the Gallipoli Peninsula necessitated a one-hour ferry ride across the Chinakale Strait. Commuters frequently experienced extended delays, leading to travel durations that could extend up to five hours. However, this tedious process has undergone a remarkable transformation with the bridge's successful completion. The travel time has been dramatically slashed to a mere six minutes, offering a swift and efficient crossing that has revolutionized the transportation experience for all those traversing the strait. How much is the Chinakale Bridge passing fee? The maintenance of the bridge, awarded to the Limat Dalem SK Yapi Mackenzie Consortium through a build operate transfer model in January 2017, involved a treasury commitment. This commitment comprised a daily guarantee of 15,000 passes, with a toll set at 433 Turkish lira plus value added tax per car, or $15 plus VAT. The established toll aims to facilitate smooth and efficient passage for both local commuters and international travellers alike. The construction of the 1915 Chinakale Bridge came at a hefty price tag of $2.7 billion. Yet Turkish authorities anticipate substantial long-term savings, estimating up to $450 million annually in reduced fuel consumption. The collaboration between Turkish and South Korean companies brought together a workforce of over 5,000 individuals to realize this ambitious project. As vehicles now traverse the strait in a mere six minutes, replacing once time-consuming ferry journeys, the impact on daily life is undeniable. This bridge, spanning the waters that hold echoes of Ottoman victories, has become a symbol of modern Turkey's prowess and determination. What are your thoughts on the transformative impact of the 1915 Chinakale Bridge on daily commuting experiences, particularly in reducing travel times from hours to minutes? Comment below and please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. That's all from this video. Until next time, stay tuned for more fascinating architectural wonders.